bits of motherfucking music up in my ears. Finally mounted the correct way. Yay me. Yeah boy. The chopper stuff. previously said this. I'm really not in the market to be buying shit I don't need when I have a perfectly good brake caliper right here. So anyway, long story short, I bought a new caliper. Well, not a new caliper. This is the caliper that this frame was built for. It is the 86 to 99 Sportster caliper. I just, I got in touch with the guys of a throttle addiction. Super nice guys. They offered me a refund on the part I ordered because it doesn't work. Uh, basically, their frame, I'll put some pictures in here. Their frame, the lower extension of the, the hardtail is a lot wider. It's a lot more open through here. So it has more room for the 01 to 03 brake caliper to fit. And the TC Bro one is just two straight pipes meeting at the axle. So it's a lot more narrow through here. So there's no room. They told me it would fit. They were mistaken the guy apologized again super nice people up there anyway moving on so this needs a little bit of tweaking before it can get put on so we're back here back axle in the box that comes with the hardtail there is a bag full of hardware in that bag of hardware there is this little heim joint this looks similar to the one that i use as a shift link on my dyna but it's not essentially this brake caliper gets mounted through the axle. There's a, a schematic that comes with the instructions. You're gonna drill and tap a hole on the left side of the caliper mount. And basically, you're gonna mount the heim joint on here. And then the other side of the heim joint is gonna go through the brake tab right here. I'm gonna take this apart real quick. So taking this caliper apart, that's the actual caliper. And this is the mounting plate. The hole is gonna get drilled and tapped somewhere in this area. So that means I have a whole lot of meat over here that I do not need. So I am gonna take a cutoff wheel on a angle grinder and I'm basically gonna cut a line straight through here and get rid of this part that mounts on the old swing arm. Just because on here it's gonna be sticking out and it's gonna look fucking terrible. That means that there's gonna be some ugly shit on here. So I'm probably gonna send this off to powder coat to get powder coated to match the frame. So that's the first uh, first thing on the agenda here. Cut this, this whole chunk off, get it cleaned up, and then we're gonna drill tap and get this brake finally mounted the correct way. And I sourced a new rear brake master cylinder for the one that was broken on here. Guy parting out an 0183. Have you had an extra master cylinder lying around? Got it from him. It'll be here soon. So the brake system is pretty much completely done. All right, so we're gonna get the grinder, cut this bad Larry, and we'll be good. Nice threaded hole. Real exciting stuff happening. 
Um, don't know if I've already explained this or not, but I'm super excited about it because this was an issue that had been plaguing me for a while, but it's finally fixed. The brake issue is finally fixed. Got it mounted, everything. I'm gonna go ahead, get everything in place. Show, I'm gonna show you real quick how the brake caliper mounts onto this frame. It took a little bit of guesswork, a little bit of confusion. Luckily, this is one of the things that actually came with instructions from TC Bros. Thank God, and it actually has a pretty nice schematic in the back. Uh, exploded parts diagram of this whole, pretty much this whole build back here. Back tires going on real quick. Uh, with all the proper spacing, spacers, tension on the chain, everything like it's a final install, which is far from it. And then brakes are going on. This is the brake caliper, again, 86 to 99 caliper made for the TC Bros hardtail kit. This is it, as you previously saw, I've cut all this extra crap off, drilled and tapped this hole, 3 8 by 16. So, this is how this is gonna mount. In the TC Bros kit, on well, the bag of hardware, it came with this heim, heim joint. I previously explained this. And then it also came with this, which is called a Heim joint spacer. Looks like a little dished um, washer, basically. Essentially, you're gonna take this 3 8 by 16 bolt through the Heim joint, through the spacer, so the flat side of the spacer is on the caliper. I'm just gonna thread that in. So I'm gonna eventually get all ARP hardware, probably chrome ARP hardware for all this. And you wanna make sure your bolt's not too long, otherwise it will rub on the caliper. Not a good idea. Other bolt through the Heim joint, through this slot. Just like that. And the beauty of this Heim joint is that you can lengthen or shorten it as much as you want to get it how you want to fit. And there you go. And now, the only bad thing about the way this is mounted is it has to be what I've heard referred to as bench bled, which means you can't just use the bleeder nipple here to bleed this caliper because all the air is gonna rise to the top of the piston and all that you're gonna pump out of this nipple is fluid, no matter what, no matter how much fluid is in there, no matter how much air is in there, it's just gonna pop fluid out. So basically you need to bleed this thing off the bike in the upright position or what I'm probably gonna try to do, unbolt it from the heim joint here, roll it up, so it's a little more upright and bleed it up here, tighten everything back down, close the bleeder nipple, and then slide it back over, lock it in place. In theory, it'll work. In actual practice, who knows? It may not. We'll get there when we get there. I'm just happy I finally have a mounted brake caliper on this bike. Big relief. So the next big thing is gonna be to get the gas tank mounted. And then once that's mocked and finalized, and I clean up all these welds with my burr tools and all that stuff, get the engine pulled back out, and then this thing will be good to go to powder coat, which I'm excited about, because once it comes back from powder coat, I'm gonna paint the tins, and then we can start finalizing everything as far as electric and the front end. I did buy the TC Bros plus eight inch front end, so this thing's gonna have a pretty mean stance to it, and I also got a 21 inch wheel from a friend of mine that's sitting over there. Not 100% sure whether it's gonna work or not, I don't know what it came off of, so it's gonna kind of be a shot in the dark with that one. And then, of course, the engine rebuild's gotta still happen. I'm just gonna go through everything, check the torque specs, make sure everything's tight. Things coming together. It is coming together. 